Okay, here we are, all fully rigged to raise the mast using the mast stepper system. You can see that the the yoke lines are connected at the bases of the bench. The wing seats are out, comes up over the triangle here, runs up to the to the top of the gin pole. The gin pole is really just sitting. See, there's no bungee cord needed really. It's just to keep the plate in place while you set the pole, but once the pole's set, it really doesn't do anything. Um, the same is on the other side. You see the winch from the trailer. Um, I have it I have it strung under the crossbar here. I know that the, the kit comes with a pulley, depending on the type of um, strap you have for your trailer. But it runs up to the top of the gin pole where it connects to the two lines at the top and then on the other side you have the the roller furler with the uh, the U um, uh, clamp what do you call it the uh, the um, you know what I mean it's connected up there to the top of the pole as well so really you have tension on this side and tension of the forestay with the jib on it all the way to the top of the mast that way <clears throat> the other end of the the yoke is tensioned up the mast, tensioned up the mast using the halyard. So the halyard is nice and tight here, and that's pulling up on the, the two side parts of the yoke. So these two parts of the yoke are going to keep the, the mast from drifting sideways as it goes up, and the two parts of the yoke that go up to the gin pole are going to keep the mast from rotating as it goes up. I'm going to get closer up here to the uh, connection at the top so you just see you have the the roller furler with the U shackle that's the word I was looking for connected <coughs> to the the bolt on the top of the the gin pole and then the, the, the clamp here so that so these two are in tension right now and all that force is just pushing down on the gin pole so it's just sitting on that base, pushed in, um, with, with nothing holding it in place. Um, when I start cranking, I'm not going to do that because I don't have any counterweight on the end of the trailer. The trailer will tip over if I try to try this like this, but when I start cranking, this line is going to pull on the top of the gin pole, which is going to pull on the forestay, and it's going to bring the mast right up. 